All right, today I'm in a 1995 Mitsubishi Pajero, and I'm going to show you how to replace the bulb in this whole cluster, as well as the specific bulb in this compass, which goes out all the time, and you can't see it at night if you don't have backlighting. So uh, to take this thing apart, first, there's little plastic caps that I've taken off early. You gotta be really careful with them, otherwise you'll snap them. I figured that out the hard way. But there's little plastic domes that go here, and you get a little screwdriver behind it and pop it out, and then that exposes Phillips screws on both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out now. All right, now that I've gotten those two screws out of there, that one on that side, and then if you come around here, that one as well, you can just take the whole thing and lift that top panel off of there. Put that aside, and then you've got four screws, one there, one there, and then on the other side as well, two there. I'll take those four out and then I'll be back. So one thing you wanna make sure of is that you don't drop those little screws down into the dash. And so on this side, I didn't have any problem getting the screws out of there with just a magnetic screwdriver. But on this side, you can see there's not enough rim to get them out that way. So what I like to do is kind of shift it over just a little bit and then you can lift it out, make sure the screws stay in the little cubbies, and lift it out with the screws in it. And then now you can pull the screws out. Just be very careful when you do this. Do not, there we go. Luckily that one didn't fall into the dash. There we go, got both of them. But there you go, now that's out. And then once that's out, there's an electrical connector under here. There's a tab on the back side right here and you're going to want to push this tab in and pull down on the connector and pull up on the upper connector and the whole unit there it takes two hands so i'm gonna have to do it off camera but that's how you do that all right so now that we got our cluster on the workbench here we can go ahead and flip it over and you can see on the back here if you need to replace the backlighting for the altimeter or inclinometer they're one it's just one backlight for both of them that's this right here, standard off-the-shelf bulb. Not sure what size it is, but it is just a standard bulb you can get in an auto parts store. But I'm in here to replace the bulb on the compass and thermometer, which is backlit from an internal bulb. So we're going to need to take this cluster apart. So to start, we're going to need to take out the four screws holding in the face, which is this one here, this one, and then that one right there, and that one there. So you're also going to want to take out those two screws down there and take out your light bulb, which I've already done. And so now we can flip this back over. Be careful of your light bulb down there. All right, flip it over. Make sure your light bulb's good. Yep. And then, so now we're going to take out these six screws and then get closer to pulling out the compass module here. So now with those six screws removed, you should be able to take the plastic piece Pick it up and rotate it like that. It's held in by the adjustment stick for the altimeter, um, but that's okay because we only need access to the compass over here. So this is gonna be kind of hard to do on camera, so I'm gonna just do it off camera, but what you're gonna wanna do is pull the compass unit out enough to kind of fish the cables through the back and kind of pull everything out as one piece without just putting any strain on the cables back there. It'll all come through that little gap right there. So you gotta kind of fish those stiff 90s cables through there. And it's doable, but I can't do it with one hand. So I'm gonna do that now. So you'll only be able to get that uh, cord that's there because of the width of the metal piece on that electrical connector. But that's okay because you just need access to the back here and to your bulb right there. So it kind of looks like an adjustment screw, but it's not, it's your bulb. Um, and so what you're wanna, gonna wanna do is get a flat head in there, give it a quarter turn like that. And then if you got the right size screwdriver, you can kind of just get it wedged on your, on your flat blade there and pull it out just like that. So I initially thought that this was a bulb holder of some sort, it's not, it's a proprietary bulb you got to get it from Mitsubishi or an eBay seller. And they changed this sometime through uh, 94, 95, I think. And so I initially had the wrong bulb at first. But the one that fits my truck, which is the earlier version, is 
this right here. There's a blue version, a green version. I got the green version. It doesn't really matter. It just kind of changes the color a little bit. But this version is uh, part number right there, MB898179. So that's what I'm going to be installing. So just take yours apart first and measure the width of the uh, of the base right there because there's a couple of different versions and a couple of different sizes. The one I got initially was a little too small. So just make sure to double check that before you order a bulb. So with the new bulb, just kind of put it in there and uh, locked into place. We can go ahead, uh, put this back in its housing and then put the uh, plate on here, screw everything back together, put that bulb back in the back there and get everything screwed back together and get, uh, get it back in the truck. So now we got everything screwed back together, put back together. Let's go try it in the truck. I always like testing it first before uh, before screwing everything down final. So I'm gonna grab that electrical connector, plug it in, two hand operation there, and uh, and give it a whirl. All right, so there she is with the light. Beautiful. So this thing is fixed. Just got to get that bolted back up in there, and we'll be good to go. So sweet. Hope this helped.